out on the open highway, his journey found its tempo, its rhythm, its pulse. Every day on a bike has its own feel, and today, a natural feeling sense of urgency had him riding fast. Carrying speed into corners and leaning steep with the bike as it swung through turns steady as a pendulum swings. Putting miles behind him felt satisfying. Little time was spent behind traffic. As he could pull around and charge past vehicles in the lawful speed limit range with a roaring casualness. Away from traffic, he inhaled the ribbon of asphalt between 80 and 100 with a low, steady, a deadly calm pulse, like tying his shoelaces in the dark. At a gap in the barbed wire fence, a cattle guard spanned the rutted dirt road where a meadowlark whistled its song. The sound of his approach began with the motor's deceleration down the stairs of the bike's transmission, accompanied by tire treads scrubbing the asphalt of speed, and finally the whisper of brake pads binding hot rotors. He leaned the bike off the highway and over the panel of steel bars, making the trademark clank-clank sound of entering or exiting dirt roads in cattle country. Now the journey would take on a whole new feel, as he'd ride the bike in a different way. Rider and machine, drifting, sliding, carving, dancing over surfaces, no longer in the stabilized, linear grip of rubber and road. Standing straight-armed and legged atop the bike, he carved away at the horizon. The way a conductor rides the waves of his orchestra, he plied the bounds of physics and gravity with committed confidence. His eyes read the makeup and consistency of the dirt, mud, and gravel roads like his own hand was feeling the surface ahead of him. from one ditch of the tracked road to the other, like a bowling ball pressing the invisible fin of the gutter, positive it can't fall in. The road, hot and broken, dirt and rock, scraped from the landscape like an x-ray, revealing a looking glass to the ever-changing makeup of the terrain and its soil. Present vegetation, the skin, dirt, the flesh, and bedrock, the bones of the land. The road lay down as a line, an artery, a continuous river of passage with no beginning and no end. Landscapes stretched away, expanding from where he gazed, from where he remembered, from where he imagined. And he rode his motorcycle into